Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie. I am the Mama to Eight, and tonight I am going to show you how to cook a chicken in your Instant Pot from frozen. So I took this chicken straight out of my freezer, and I'm going to show you how you can cook it just like that. Sorry in advance for all the kid noises. Okay, right now I couldn't even get the plastic off of this because it's completely frozen on. So I turned my faucet on hot. It's just warm right now actually. And I'm just running the water over it just enough to start loosening this up a little bit so that I can then cut it off. It is okay if there's insides in there, you can get those out later. So you're just going to just gently wash it. And then pat it dry. Okay, make sure your little rack is still in the Instant Pot and then you're just going to put that right on top and you're going to put in one cup of water. Okay, I have two tablespoons of softened butter in here, and I put in a teaspoon each of some garlic powder, some rosemary, salt, and a little bit of pepper. Those are the seasonings I had on hand. So I'm just going to mix that up and rub it on the chicken. <laughs> Did you just say yum? <laughs> I'm glad you approve. That doesn't look very yummy. <laughs> James said it was yummy. Okay, so we're going to rub that all over the chicken. I don't think the chicken likes it. Is it hard? No, it's just a little bit heavy because it's frozen. Mm. No! No, it didn't! <laughs> It's okay. The chicken doesn't mind. Okay, put on your lid. Set this to sealing. That's just pushing it back. We're going to let this go for 60 minutes. So it's going to take longer than 60 minutes because it takes time to come to pressure. Let's see what it looks like. Inside. Let me get my meat thermometer and we'll check it out. Oh yeah, it looks great. It is plenty done. If you wanted to have crispy skin, you could take this chicken and put it under your broiler in your oven for about five minutes and it would crisp that skin over. However, we are ready for chicken. So we're just gonna take this out and eat it. And then we will be saving the bones and I will show you how to make bone broth. There are so many different ways to make bone broth. Um, I, I make it in the crock pot, in the instant pot, on the stove. There are so many ways. What I'm going to do to be easy, it's nighttime, I need to put my kids to bed, and so what I'm doing is I'm leaving this liquid from the chicken in the pot. These are the bones when we cleaned the chicken. We just kept the bones here after dinner. I'm just going to dump these in my instant pot. I am going to, let me turn you around here so you can see what I'm doing. I add in apple cider vinegar. This helps pull all the nutrients out of the bones. Bone broth is so good for you. I can link an article below or you can just research. Um, oops, let's see if I can get that cap off one handed. There I go. There are so many um, health benefits to bone broth and so um, I will link an article below to, sh to talk about those, but what I do is I just pour in, um, I think it's supposed to be like two to four tablespoons for a, a container this size, but I, I just do everything quick, you guys. I've, I'm always in a hurry. So I just put a little bit of this, and then I fill it up with water, of course, because this is an Instant Pot. You cannot go past that max line. I don't know if you can see it there on the side. 
but I'm going to fill it up. I can put a little bit more in. Ideally, you want to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes with just the water like this before you start cooking it. It will help pull out all those nutrients. So tonight, I, because it's nighttime and I'm not going to be up keeping an eye on this, I'm actually going to just use the slow cooker function. So you can actually use pressure to get, um, to get your bone broth cooked quickly. No! Um, tonight, I'm just going to put it on slow cooker. It's set for 12 and a half hours right now, which is, whoops, which is totally fine. Um, there we go. We got to bump it back up again. We will let this sit all night, and then in the morning, we will open it up and add salt and drink it. Um, I save bone broth, of course, for recipes, but also some of my kids and Jason and I just like drinking it just with some of our pink Himalayan salt. We just like drinking it just like that. And that's it, you guys. They, like I said, that you can add vegetables, you can add um, onions, carrots to add flavor, you can add herbs, but I am just a plain and simple kind of gal and I just throw it in and that's all. That's all I do. So Good morning. Before I let you go, I wanted to show you what the broth looks like the next morning. So it's been just in the slow cooker all night. When we opened it this morning, it was just lightly simmering in a light boil. Um, there's already been a lot removed, but let me show you what it looks like. So this is it. Um, you can see it's that beautiful golden color. Hopefully you can see that. So you can just pour it through a strainer. I'm ladling some right into mugs and sprinkling in a little bit of our pink Himalayan salt for kids to drink this morning. And then whatever doesn't get consumed this morning, I will put in jars in the refrigerator for cooking with this week. And that's all that I do. So like I said, I will put a link below of the article that I had read on why broth is so good for you. And you can see how easy it is, so you should go try to make your own.